Now, this is a very typical one, right? Looks like 14 has become 316, so close to 20 times. Then suddenly it is only <coughs> 536, then only 764, then only 9100. So, you know, that, that part is really very confusing as to what is happening, right? There is a huge jump from first number to second number, 20 times almost, or more than 20 times, in fact. Then suddenly it is like half a time, half a time, half a time and so on. So what is happening here? Well, try and observe. Look at the first digits of all these numbers. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So obviously in the question mark it should be 11. We are looking at odd numbers, right? 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. How about the remaining part of the number? Observe this. 4, 16, 36, 64, 100. What are all these? Perfect squares. 2 squared, 4 squared, 6 squared, 8 squared, 10 squared. So what should be the next one? 12 squared, which is 144. So your answer will be triple one, double four. 11,144, which is option 5. None of this. Now it is hard to assume that one may get such a logic in the exam. I mean, it's very difficult to get this kind of an idea when you're solving a question in the exam. So you better skip and move to the next one. All right. Let me be very frank. I could not solve this question when it was given to me. Right. I could not crack this one when it was given to me. Right. 11,121 is close, but that's not the answer. It is wrong because we are looking at all even squares, 2, 4, 6, 8. So the next one should be 12. 12 square is 144. Okay. So the point that I'm trying to make, guys, is that you may not be able to crack such questions in the exam. So please do not waste your time on something which is not guaranteed. Right? Now, the numbers are 9, 31, 73, 141, 241, question mark. So what is happening here? 9, 31, 73. 141, 241, question mark. See, the logic goes as follows. 2 squared, sorry, let me just, 1 squared plus 2 cube, right? So this is like 1 plus 8, 9. This is 2 squared plus 3 cube. 4 plus 27 is 31. How about this one? 3 squared plus 4 cube. So 3 squared 9 plus 64. 4 cube 64, 73. And so on. So this is 4 squared plus 5 cube. This is 5 squared plus 6 cube. So what should this be? The question mark should be uh, 6 squared plus 7 cube. So this is like 36 plus, how much is 7 cube? 343. So how much is 36 and 343 total? 379. Option 1. Right? What will come in place of question mark in the given question? So basically a question from number series. We have to find out what comes in place of question mark. Now look at the numbers here. 41, 42, 45, 54, 81. Right? So it doesn't look like a series which has got some multiplications involved, right? I mean, this looks like a linear series. It's not an exponential uh, series, right? Doesn't look like one. So we'll have to try it out. Basically, number series, there is no method. There is no shortcut. There is no technique uh, to get the answer. It's all trial and error. You try with some logic. If that works out, well and good. Otherwise, try with something else. So let's just see. I think we'll, we'll play with the differences first. Let's, let's find out the difference between pairs of numbers here, consecutive pairs of numbers. So 41 plus 1 is 42. 42 plus 3 is 45, 45 plus 9 is 54, right? 54 plus 27 will be 81. So if you see the difference is here, 1, 3, 9, 27, right? So what should be the next one? Next one should be 81. Yes or no? It should be plus 81. Why? See, these are all, you know, powers of 3 actually. This is 3 power 0, 3 power 1, right? 3 power 2, this is 3 power 3. So obviously the next one has to be 3 power 4, which is 81. So what will come in place of question mark? 81 plus 81, which is 162, option 2.